What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we're going to talk about the patch. Of course, if you have uh, turned Black Ops 3 on in the past hour or so, or you're just your PlayStation in general, you saw that there was a patch for uh, Black Ops 3. And it is a pretty significant one just because of a few things. Of course, this is 1.14. Um, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is one of those games that was really, really awesome, and then everybody on the other team quit once again. And so the end of it was so slow. Don't you hate when you're having a great game and everybody quits? But that's just how it happens. Um, we're going to talk about some of the things. Of course, uh, I'm going to hit on the high points of what I think was really important. Of course, I will link the uh, the whole uh, patch notes as a, as a whole in the description below, as always. But, of course, you know, just some general gameplay fixes. Nothing really uh, big besides the mercenary playlist has been retired. Um, they did a lot of things to Codcaster. Again, of course, we're trying to get that ready for Cod XP in case you watch competitive call of duty you know you get the different kind of options they give kind of make it for a better viewing experience um the black market the last uh, or the latest loot items will be marked with a banner when earned and when viewed in the black market's recent contraband list uh some of the things they've done with specialists uh, the sparrow increase speed to maximum arrow charge and increased rapid fire rate so the sparrow may get bumped up a little be a better uh, specialist weapon the tempest reduced the beam size and when they say reduce the beam size, I have not used the Tempest since this update. So I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be the width of it, so it's going to be harder to hit people with, or exactly how that's going to work. We'll have to see uh, for sure. I know a lot of people kind of complain about the Tempest. It, it, to me, it's kind of one that's kind of up in the air because it's kind of slow to charge unless you get a lot of people right in a row for rapid rapid kills. Uh, some weapons that have been changed, and this is probably the biggest part of the patch. The CUDA reduced 3 hit kill damage rain and reduced 5 hit kill damage rain. So the CUDA got a little bit of a knockdown. A lot of people use the CUDA a lot lately, and especially with the silencer. I'm sure you guys have ran into it. Um, so we're going to see what the kind of help does with the CUDA. Of course, VMP reduced recoil stability. So the rec uh, recoil of the VMP is going to be a little bit uh, more relevant now. So if you're a VMP user, definitely uh, be aware of that. The thing that was kind of interesting to me is increased recoil stability for the Vesper. So you have better recoil stability for the Vesper. The Vesper is kind of making a comeback a little bit. You know, it got really, really, it was really good, then it got really nerfed, and it's just kind of been uh, kind of getting put back into, I guess, a more of an even playing field with some of the other subs. Man of War, reduced reload speed and reduced aim down sight speed. I could understand maybe the reduced aim down sights. The reload, I really don't understand. Because as you know, in this game, most of the assault rifles reload close to the same speed, not like some past CODs where some reloaded faster than others. Everything's kind of on the same playing field in that. HG-40, increased 3-hit kill damage range, which is going to be a plus for close quarters combat. The Grand got an increase in reload speed, increase in recoil stability and hip fire. And the FFAR got a recoil, uh, increased recoil stability and increased hip fire stability and increased aim down sight speed. Uh, it's pretty good for you guys that like the FFAR, especially the Grand. The Grand, of course, you know, weapon you can't reload. You have to wait till the uh, entire clip is fired, so that reload speed will definitely help. And, of course, some other game mode fixes and things like that and things for zombies. But I want to let you guys know about the weapons mainly and some of the uh, specialists also. But leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about these. Do you think those are good? Do you, what are some other things you're looking forward to maybe being patched in the next uh, update? Of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.